What is up guys, it is Jay here. You're probably wondering why you aren't seeing either me solving a cube, me showing you how to do something on a cube, or my face, but instead you see MS Paint. Well, I'll tell you why you see MS Paint, because today we're going to be learning how to make our own custom CS Timer, Affirmation, Prompt, whatever you want to call it, background. Basically a background that will give us a prompt that is helpful towards our speed cubing improvement. Something is like a reminder, basically. Uh, this is something I talked about very recently on the newsletter. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, subscribe to the newsletter. Why aren't you subscribed to the newsletter? But regardless, even if you did read that email, you might be having some trouble actually making your own custom background with something like plan cross plus one or look ahead or turn it 90% so you don't lock up all the time or whatever you, whatever you know that you need to work on but you keep forgetting about and you need that kind of constant reminder. That's basically the goal of these CS Timer backgrounds. The one I've used primarily is plan first two pairs, and one that I plan on using in the future is one focused on look ahead and not overcomplicating my solutions. So you can get really creative with these, and you can use them for all sorts of events. Like for one-handed, one that I would use if I was going to practice one-handed would be orient edges, because with how much is EBLO I know, it is actually worthwhile for me to do kind of dumb edge control tricks because it actually usually leads to faster times anyways just because of the nature of ZBLL. But anyways, let's get into it. Um, also, if I sound different, um, there's no real reason. I'm not sick or anything. Um, just for some reason my throat's kind of dry. Anyways, first thing we want to do. So, with the background, where is my mouse? There's my mouse. How big do we want it? I don't know the specific numbers because I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. Um, I just go with something big. This is pretty big, so let's go with this. Um, I know this might seem like kind of obvious to you guys, but like there are actually some kind of tricky steps to this. Like, even if you aren't a complete technological boomer like I am, it isn't actually that obvious how to make your own background. Um, so I am going to go through this step by step. The first few might be a bit boring, but the last few are kind of important, and you might want to know them. Next thing you want to do. Um, I mean, now is probably a good time to pick a background color. Maybe you want, uh, let's go with yellow. Why not? Uh, just, I don't know, don't get too crazy with like the colors and stuff. You just want something that like stands out. So like a yellow background and like black text. So I'll change it back to black. It would work well. Um, now that we've done that, just use the text feature. Do that. Pick, I've already picked a big font, 72, and Arial because Arial is easy to read. I wouldn't use windings, obviously, but basically just use a font that's easy to read. You want this to be something that like pops out every time you see CS Timer. And then you put what you want to work on. So it could be look ahead. All caps is probably better for this. So I don't know, look ahead. Um, I don't know. Um, don't do dumb shit. <laughs> All right, let, let, me, let me think of a good one. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just like whatever you want to work on. This is this is probably a pretty good one. Um, do the better alg slash solution, even if it makes your solve worse. I think that's a really good one because I think that's something a lot of people genuinely need to work on. They'll especially now that everyone's in quarantine. Like, don't fucking worry about your PBs. Just do the algorithms that are better and are going to pay off in the long run instead of just chasing like a 0.1 PB average of 100 because you're in the zone or something. Um, that is not how you get better at cubing. Doing the better ALK solution, even if it makes your solve worse in the short term, is how you get better in the long term. So I like this. Let's go with this. Um, and then if you want to add any more like artistic stuff to it, you can. You can uh, grab some shapes. Let's put a let's put a star here. Why not? <laughs> okay, maybe not, maybe not the star of David. Uh, <laughs> let's go with this one. Cool. Um, and then we could, I don't know, make it black and then maybe make it another color. That looks terrible. This looks like a. <laughs> this looks like the flag for J Country. Alright, so once we've got something we're happy with, um, you know, you've put your artistic touch on it, you've made sure that the, um, the, like, the phrase stands out. Um, you could even do something like this where you invert the colors, which would just be like selecting it, control shift I, and then you get something like that, which stands out ridiculously nicely. 
Um, another tip that I didn't quite do, and I don't really want to redo this, but if you have a very short phrase, this isn't a very short phrase, but if you have a short one, it's good to like spam it across the screen. So if yours is look ahead, don't look at what you're solving, you could just have that over and over and over. So like look ahead, look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. Don't look at what you're solving. Don't look at what you're solving. Don't look. At what you, you get the idea. Anyways, once you got something you're happy with, you want to save the file, obviously. Um, save as, and then you'll save it somewhere. Let's go with desktop. Oh, we're already there. Sick. And just put your put your name. Oh, not your name. You put whatever you want to name it. Just something you'll remember. You only need to remember it for a few minutes. And this is the tricky part. So you've made your image, but how do you make it a CS timer background? And the reason this is a little bit tricky, we're going to go into CS timer really quick to demonstrate. And this is kind of a design flaw, in my opinion, of CS timer. Uh, please load for the love of God. Um, so there, there you can see my background. Plant two pairs, plant two pairs. That's a perfect example of like repeating the, the mantra as it were, and I also did like a nice little inversion thing from right to left to make it stand out in a in a different way. Um, so if you go to options and you go to display, there will be background image and your options are manual, none, or one, two, three. The one you want is manual. So you click manual. Uh, I probably have to do something like this. So go back to none and then when you want to change it, you have to put the image's URL, and that is kind of a problem because um, you can't you can't upload a file. Basically, it has to be done by URL, which is really obnoxious. I really wish CS Time would change this. So what you need to do instead is here's what I do. There's a bunch of ways you could do it. You could upload it to Imager or something like that. You could probably find a way to do it from your computer potentially, but the way I do it that's consistent is I send myself a message on Facebook. Um, not because I'm lonely, because I need to get my background. And we load up the image, like so. There we go. We send it. And we wait for it to load. Again, my computer, kangaroo Wi-Fi be like that. And then what you want to do, click it. Probably don't need to click it, but I like to click it. And then open image in new tab. By doing open image in new tab, simply by having the image uploaded somewhere, you will have a URL that you can work with. So you can now copy the URL and you can go to display, you can go to manual, go back to none, go to manual, put the new URL, click OK, and now you have your background. And as you can see here, uh, didn't quite hit the mark with the placement of it. So what you can then do is you just edit the image, probably add just more space to the left. So what I mean by that is, uh, let's just uh, like rotate this, drag that out, and then make sure we get the right color, not that it really matters, and then just rotate it back. As you can see, I'm an expert when it comes to MS Paint. And then just save that. And then we just do that again. So we just resend it to ourselves. Let's not open that, please. Get our get our image. There we go. And this one should look better. Obviously, you could just X this stuff somehow. Um, not sure how exactly you do that, but you could get rid of it. You also don't necessarily need all of the text visible because if you get the gist of what it's trying to tell you, then in my opinion. Um, anyways, open image in new tab. Copy. Go back to options. Go back to display. Background image, none. Manual. Control V. Okay. And that one looks fantastic. That looks perfect. That is a beautiful CS timer background. That's a lie. It is not beautiful. It's god awful ugly, but it serves a useful purpose. And that's what matters. Because every time you see this, you will go into a session knowing not to be ignorant, not to do the far, like, 
faster in the short term, but not good and optimal thing because PBs. And even if you get mid-session, you'll see it. <laughs> so, very, very foolproof. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, go away, Brave Browser. But thank you for the free crypto. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you implement this and give yourself a banging CS timer background. Let me know down in the comments what that background's going to be. I would love to hear it. I love hearing these sorts of ideas, honestly. I think it's really cool. Uh, and yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.